There's just like a vastness about Los Angeles. I try to look for subtleties in the city that stick out to me because I've been here, you know, all my life. It could be color, it could be texture, it could be signage, it could be neon. There's always something. The work that I'm producing now, it has to do with traditional painting technique, but inspired by signage from Los Angeles or advertising in Los Angeles. The neon came in because that's how I first saw these things as advertisements and liquor stores and laundromats. So it was kind of combining these kind of overlooked mediums and compose it in an interesting way. I never thought the love of a medium would be the catalyst for me getting on a plane and heading to Hong Kong. It's just mind blowing, you know? It's always like a culture shock. The landscape first is different. Then you get to walking and checking out all the textures and the colors, and the neon, and, and how they uh, communicate. You know, it's kind of the same things we're seeing back home. And it's kind of like these similar connections, you know. Meeting someone like Mr. Lau and his expertise since 1957, you know, lighting up Hong Kong and the stories that he had. It's just intense. It's crazy. It's something to be celebrated. Even though there was a language barrier, we can kind of communicate with showing tools or just kind of like sketches. It doesn't matter if it's in Mandarin, English, or Cantonese. It's just a feeling first. We're speaking to each other visually, and it's something that's, I think, stronger. Mm -hmm.